Now we do want to update you on the new COVID-19 cases across the coastal bend. We're learning Nueces County tonight reporting eight deaths. The patients, six men and two women ranging in age from 20 to 80 years old. That's going to bring Nueces County's total to 162. Meanwhile, 259 new cases of the virus were confirmed for Nueces County today. The total now standing at 11,160 cases since testing began. 397 people hospitalized with the virus currently, 147 of those in the ICU. For a breakdown of more stats and numbers, visit our website, KTRLITV.com. And enough is enough when it comes to COVID-19 spreading through our area. That was the message tonight from City County Public Health Director Annette Rodriguez in today's daily COVID-19 briefing at Corpus Christi City Hall. As we've reported, another 259 coronavirus cases reported for the Nueces County today. And it has city and county leaders saying Nueces County appears to be leveling off when it comes to the spread of the virus. But leveling off is not the same as going away. Rodriguez saying tonight that the coastal bend was lucky with how quickly Hurricane Hannah left the area, but we haven't been so lucky when it comes to the coronavirus going away. This virus is deadly and can cause irreparable damage to our health and safety. Hurricane Hannah did not stay as long as the virus COVID-19 did. She came and went, but COVID-19 remains. Therefore, it is even more important for us not to slacken our efforts in ending the spread of this horrific virus. Yeah, we just had a... Now, some good news to report from today's conference. The number of hospitalized patients is dropping with the number of patients in the ICU for the virus down by five people today.